Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Mungli here. So in my earlier videos, I have uh, explained what is exactly is uh, intermittent fasting and uh, how it works. So how to do intermittent fasting and how it works. So there are two videos and the links for that videos are there in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to give you diet plan for intermittent fasting. So a couple of you asked me, what is the diet plan for intermittent fasting? So how to break a fast during intermittent fasting? So if you are doing a 16, 8 intermittent fasting or 12, 12 intermittent fasting or like you no know, whatever the in between uh, intermittent fasting. So how do you break the fast? So uh, make sure in that eating window. So like I myself, uh, I am doing 16, 8 intermittent fasting, kind of 16, 8 intermittent fasting. That means 16 hours I will be uh, not eating. Uh, so and then 8 hours is the eating window for me. So what I do during that 8 hours of eating window. So I am going to give that to you uh, uh, later after I explain you a diet plan. So general diet plan. After that I will uh, explain you. I will show you what I do myself. Okay. Now when you are breaking fast, first thing you got to do is uh, make sure you break it by having green salad. You know green salad. So, because when you eat salad, that means you are filling your stomach with the negative calorie food because salad mostly it is a negative calorie food. Like if you are eating a cucumber, so to digest that cucumber in the intestine, intestine has to spend more energy than what it is going to get from cucumber. So, it applies for carrot and other things, you know. So, anything that is yeah, basically green salad, so it is uh, you overall it's a negative calorie food so uh, what is the why we are uh, why i'm recommending you okay you break your fast by eating green salad it's because it is going to give you that fullness and you don't end up overeating or binge eating okay so don't make a mistake of breaking your fast by eating sugary foods high carbohydrate rich food or sweets or something like that because it's going to increase your cravings for that kind of food and also you're going to soon become uh, feel more angry and then you start eating more so basically you start dumping things so that should not happen it's going to beat the purpose whatever the purpose you are doing for intermittent fasting so you break your fast with green salad whatever the green salad that you can get can be cucumber it can be carrot it can be you know bell pepper you just mix it up a uh, little bit of you know half onion or small small size uh, red onion a little bit of uh, green chilies little bit of uh, you know coriander so just like mix it up and then have and uh, squeeze uh, lime lemon so that makes your green salad okay then you can have uh, you know next thing that you can do is either you mix nuts and seeds into that green salad so that you give you it gets you give uh, you know get that little bit of fullness with that uh, or you can eat the nuts and seeds separately in that 8 hours waiting uh, in window. Make sure that you just have a handful of it. So not too much, not too less. So you get that vitamins, minerals and good fats out of nuts and cereals. Uh, sorry, nuts and seeds. And then focus on proteins. Most important. So how much protein? 16% of your calories should come from protein if you are a bodybuilder if you are doing a weights and all that so obviously that will increase the uh, percentage uh, will increase a little bit so or in general it is uh, about 1 grams of protein per kg body weight uh, if you are a 60 kg person so it is 60 grams per kg body weight per uh, day uh, if you are uh, doing a bodybuilding muscle building and all that so maybe you increase to 1.5 grams per kg body weight okay how do you get that protein so you can get that protein from if you are uh, uh, if you eating eggs so egg as a protein you know it has six grams of protein uh, one egg uh, and you can do egg egg omelette and all that kind of thing or and the chicken which is a lean meat so you can have uh, chicken to cover up your proteins whatever the amount of protein that you need that much so don't over uh, overdo proteins because excess proteins can be converted into fat remember that uh, if you are not eating egg, if you are not eating chicken, so you can consider pulses and lentils which is also equally good source of proteins. Remember that. So pulses and uh, uh, legumes and um, uh, 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 these things uh, basically gives you good amount of protein. And then if you are eating uh, fish, you can eat uh, fish. So those who are vegetarians, are, they can consider lentils, pulses, legumes. Uh, make sure that you mix up these things on day-to-day -day basis because there are a variety of pulses, lentils and legumes. 
so each one of them protein content varies i have i will make i have a video on that uh, like amount of proteins uh, present in each of these lentils pulses and legumes so overall this is the protein source so make sure you uh, when you are using a lentils pulses legumes you sprout them sprouting is important because when you sprout the amount of protein content means the easy digestibility increases efficiency of the digestion and absorption process increases because that phytates which are inhibiting the uh, you know digestion of these things in the intestine is taken out when you sprout it okay so sprouting is more important and also it will make cooking easy okay that's the protein how much protein i already told you and then consider fat how do you get fat so good fat like avocados okay so good fat if you don't get avocados uh, maybe like you can use paneer you know paneer so which is again uh, gives you a good amount of fat although it a uh, little bit of saturated little bit of polyunsaturated monounsaturated these things will be there or maybe cheese you know so make sure that you use only optimal quantity so that you get that fat fat is also important remember that although we are uh, int our intention is to break fat but you know so here the kind of fat that we take and also you are breaking your fast and you need and you need calories and all that so you do really need that okay include it and then coming to the carbohydrates as much as pos possible avoid carbohydrates you know carbohydrate comes in different ways when you are eating lentils pulses and all this right you do get carbohydrate in that when you eat vegetables you do get some amount of carbohydrate in that so carbohydrate eventually you get it but try to avoid direct carbohydrates if you uh, if we cannot do it if you have to do carbohydrate then consider ca uh, complex carbohydrates you know like sweet potato or uh, so consider uh, having uh, rice with dal you know more dal let less rice or millets whatever you are using millets more uh, more dal like more proteins and less millets so because uh, whether you are taking millets whether you are taking carbohydrate it's all carbohydrate you know you take millets you take wheat you take rice it's all carbohydrate so there is no doubt about that so just don't do overdo millet because you know the people are this getting trend like oh millet 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 is also carbohydrate remember that only thing is fiber contained little bit nutrient uh, rich compared to the rice other than that there is no difference okay then make sure you avoid sugary drinks no liquid sugars you know that is the most important thing that you got to do during that eating window no sugary drinks what kind of sugary drinks it can be colas it can be soft drinks you know it can be tea coffee too many times tea and coffee you know and then fruit juice you know don't consider fruit juice as a good thing because fruit juice is different from fruit fruit comes with the fiber you know that decreases the absorption of uh, fructose and glucose a uh, sudden spike of glucose is not there uh, if you you uh, eat entire fruit right fruit juice is different because you are removing pulp and it is more sugary drink so fruit juice uh, avoid it if you can if you want to eat fruit you eat the entire fruit like fruit as such you eat it what kind of fruit fruit with uh, more fibers kind of like guavas mel uh, you know melons all kinds of melons or maybe apples consider doing that and then no pizzas no sweets and no uh, pastas what is wrong with pastas and pizzas so there is nothing wrong with pastas and pizzas its only thing is you get uh, you know uh, craving for it every time right so better avoid it and sweets no no sweets because it will increase your sugar spike and again you start building up more uh, fat in your adipose tissue and this is what you can consider uh, depending on the the ways that you can do it so you can uh, do it in your own way but this is the basic uh, principle what i do uh, i uh, like yesterday uh, i i ate my dinner at 7 uh, pm and now it is 12 uh, noon that means uh, i am really in that fasting state now like 7 am to 5 am sorry 7 pm previous night to today 5 am uh, 10 hours of after meals and then from that onwards uh, fasting has started so that means from 5 am that is uh, 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now it is 12 noon that means i am really in uh, fasting condition for 7 hours now and i did my you know cardio in the morning i went for brisk walk and uh, light jogging which i did it for about like 14 kilometers today because it's saturday and uh, I, i had time 
and then after that i actually went for uh, i i did like a body weight exercises little bit of weights and all that for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then uh, you know real right now i am in fasting condition i have not uh, broken my fast uh, i'm i'm in that intermittent fasting so how do i break my fast i'm going to show it to you so this is my salad so i have prepared this salad with uh, cucumber tomato uh, a small little onion red onion and um, cilantro that is uh, coriander little bit of uh, green chilies and i squeezed lime or lemon uh, like uh, lemon uh, one full lemon i squeezed and then i added uh, about 100 grams of peanuts into this and also this has about uh, 10 to 12 almonds peanuts and almonds gives me a uh, good uh, the amount of fat that i need and the protein you know 100 grams of peanut has about 26 grams of protein and then almonds also give me some amount of protein that covers like half of the protein needs for my body uh, with this salad i'm going to eat this salad uh, in two sittings and then um, also i'm going to drink this um, you know beet and carrot juice i also added half uh, uh, lemon into this uh, so I'm going to drink this. So this gives me a, like a beat. You know, it has a lot of nitrates, and I worked out. I went for uh, uh, exercise and all that. Uh, it's going to keep my blood vessels dilated because you know vasodilatation and all that, and also it has got all that you know good things. And then what I do? So I'm going to um, eat my dinner using this uh, lentil. I am I have prepared a lentil uh, dinner. This is my dinner. Uh, with uh, moong dal. So it has a good amount of protein almost like more than uh, what we get from egg. So I am going to and I am going to vary this every day. So different types of uh, lentils, pulses and legumes I am going to prepare. Uh, so I, this is my dinner. So like this I am going to cover my protein needs and also I am going to cover my uh, fat needs of the day and also the fiber needs about more than 30 grams of fiber this is going to give. So this is what I do and i sleep by you know by nine o'clock i am going to means by 9 9 30 i am already in the bed because i'm going to wake up at, at like 4 30 4 4 30 and get out uh, for walk, a brisk walk jogging by 5 a.m in the morning so this is what my is my routine and uh, i do this intermittent fasting i hope this video has helped you in understanding the diet plan for intermittent fasting and if you have any question uh, or if you are doing intermittent fasting, what is your diet plan, how you are doing intermittent fasting, whether it is working for you or not. So just uh, put that in the comment section below and if you have any question, let me know. I am going to, I uh, will try to answer those questions in the comment or if you have any special video request, so let me know, I am going to address that as well. So that's, that's it for now and I am going to see you in my next video. Till then, take care.